A few weeks ago, I wrote about how the Creedies campaign was being criticized internally by senior Democratic strategists and top elected officials in Virginia for the way it was conducting the campaign. Basically, that it was spending too much time, far, far too much time, on the Bob McDonnell thesis and not enough time building up why voters should vote for Creed Eats. I was criticized by the Deeds campaign in a phone call that went on for a good bit about being irresponsible for reporting that because it just wasn't true. So the Washington Post writes today an in-depth article quoting unnamed uh, senior Democrats in Virginia and nationally saying what I said weeks ago. I don't guess they're irresponsible. The people who are irresponsible here are the Deeds campaign for the way they've conducted this election. I've lost an election last year running for Waynesboro City Council. So keep that in mind as I make these criticisms. I've never seen a campaign run as poorly as this one. I was fighting an uphill battle in Waynesboro, in a, in a city that's uh, known for being conservative in local politics. Virginia is a democratic state and has become that in the last decade. Mark Warner, Tim Kaine, Jim Webb, Mark Warner again when he ran for Senate last year. Those statewide elections have gone the Democrats' way. Democrats have a winning formula. Mark Warner and Tim Kaine and Jim Webb, and then Mark Warner once again reaching out to moderate uh, swing voters, Republican moderates who, who have been crossing over and voting for the Democratic side because of their approach on uh, issues related to management of government and, and fiscal conservatism. All we've got from the Creedies campaign this year is don't vote for Bob McDonald because he's an extremist social conservative. This kind of campaign would probably work in a border state north of the Mason-Dixon line. Certainly if we were running an election in New Jersey, a candidate like Bob McDonald will be on the downside looking up as Creedies is right now. Maybe border states, maybe in the Midwest, maybe in the West, certainly, Northeast. Great campaign. Virginia, not so much. We haven't run these kind of campaigns here really ever successfully, to be honest. Uh, even, even when this state was a one-party Democratic state for the longest time up until the 1990s, it was a conservative Democratic state. Creed Deeds, this is the frustrating thing, is a conservative Democrat. And for whatever reason... He's allowed his campaign to be run by these Washington, D.C. insider types who have no idea how to win an election in Virginia and have done everything they can do to piss away the natural advantages that Democrats have had here for the last few years. We've got voter list. We've got, gosh, everything you can imagine in terms of uh, donors and then uh, campaign structure, all the winning campaign veterans that are out there. And what are we doing with them? This is ridiculous. It's also a little personal. You get called irresponsible for saying the truth, and you're going to take it personally. You guys have screwed up the best thing that could have ever been handed to you, which was a nomination to run for statewide office in Virginia. Congratulations, guys. That's my daily rant for today. I'm Chris Graham.